China has publicly revealed the upgraded HQ-9B missile interceptor for the first time. Showcasing a new version in service equipped with smaller, more agile interceptors alongside the original, larger missiles. The HQ-9B, often compared to the US Patriot PAC-3 system, represents a significant advancement in China's air defense capabilities. This new arrangement allows the HQ-9B to engage a wider range of targets at varying distances with greater efficiency. According to a report by the state-run Global Times, the larger missiles in the HQ-9B system are designed to intercept long-range targets, while the smaller, thinner missiles are reserved for threats that come closer. The smaller interceptors, although matching the length of the larger ones, have a reduced diameter, allowing for the increased missile count per launcher. The eight new type missiles can be carried by the same TEL that can carry four of the previously known type, the report stated, highlighting the enhanced versatility of the upgraded system. The Chinese People's Liberation Army Central Theater Command has confirmed the deployment of a new variant of the HQ-9B long-range air defense system. With images released by the command showing HQ-9Bs in a new configuration with transporter erector launchers carrying a smaller lighter class of surface-to-air missile and accommodating up to eight per launcher. Previously HQ-9s deployed only larger and longer-ranged missiles, of which four could be accommodated on each launch vehicle. Commenting on the images, the state-run Global Times noted that the new smaller missiles were designed to engage targets at shorter ranges thus complementing the longer-range missiles to allow each HQ-9B to provide more layers of protection. The HQ-9B is by far the most widely produced long-range surface-to-air missile system outside Russia. And much like its better-known Russian counterpart, the S-400, it emphasizes high mobility and deploys missiles, radars and command units from mobile trucks to improve survivability. The much more sophisticated state of China's electronics and radar industries have led analysts to widely consider the HQ-9B to retain advantages over its Russian rivals in associated performance areas. Unlike Russia, which has made only minimal investments in its fighter aviation capabilities since the end of the Cold War, and relies on ground-based systems as its primary means of protecting its airspace. The Chinese PLA invests far more in fighter aviation, and deploys ground-based systems in a complementary supporting role. Russian industry was notably the first to produce air defense systems capable of deploying multiple missiles classes with very different but complementary ranges. With this considered revolutionary for allowing a single system to respond to several kinds of threats with different missiles optimized to each one. Chinese and North Korean systems have since demonstrated a similar capability. The HQ-9B has seen growing successes on export markets with British sources having reported that the system has been exported to Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan and Pakistan, with the former two having selected the system over competing Russian alternatives to succeed Soviet-era S-200s. Unconfirmed reports have also indicated that exports have been made to Morocco, a lighter counterpart to the HQ-9B. The medium-ranged HQ-22 system was also selected by Serbia despite Western pressure to acquire NATO standard systems, with these having been delivered in April 2022. The HQ-9B's 250 km engagement range allows each system to engage targets over areas of almost 200,000 square kilometers. With its 360-degree radar coverage and cold launch system allowing for engagements in all directions. This alongside improved sensors and data links was one of the system's primary improvements over the HQ-9A. Early development of the HQ-9 in the 1990s is reported to have benefited significantly from technology transfers both from Soviet successor states. Most notably Russia which made massive exports of S-300 systems that decade, as well as from Israel which had access to technologies from the latest variants of the American Patriot system. Significant improvements to China's defense sector and broader tech sector allowed it to end its reliance on technology transfers and to rely on indigenous technologies to develop and improve the HQ-9B. Exercises featuring the HQ-9B have been reported frequently, and included launching electromagnetic attacks on the systems and simulated air attacks in red versus blue team drills. 
Former PLA officers have stressed the need to operate these systems in unfamiliar terrain, and to test personnel intensively from the beginning of new systems commissioning into service. The system has deployed in significantly numbers to major potential hotspots, including strategically located islands in the South China Sea. HQ-9Bs were in 2015 deployed to Hotan in Xinjiang province, close to Indian claimed territories in Kashmir. With the lack of comparable systems in Indian service thought to have been a major factor in Delhi's decision to place orders for Russian S-400s three years later. Alongside ground-based deployments, a navalized variant of the HQ-9B. The HQ-9B has been widely used by the PLA Navy from the mid-2010s on over three dozen surface destroyers namely the Type 052C, Type 052D and Type 055 classes. Complementary shorter ranged air defense on these destroyer classes is provided by close-in weapon systems and HQ-10 short-ranged surface-to-air missiles. The HQ-9 missile family, developed by China, provides medium-range air defense against a variety of aerial threats, including aircraft, cruise missiles, and tactical ballistic missiles. The system is designed to protect key strategic locations and critical infrastructure across the country. The HQ-9B variant offers several improvements over its predecessors, including an extended engagement range of at least 200 kilometers. It is believed to incorporate a dual-mode seeker, enhancing its resistance to electronic countermeasures and increasing its effectiveness against a broader array of threats. The system also features a modified HT-2-3-3 target engagement radar, which includes updated secondary antenna arrangements and a more compact feed horn assembly compared to earlier versions. These enhancements are expected to improve the radar's tracking and targeting capabilities, ensuring more precise and reliable interceptions. The system's ability to engage multiple targets at varying ranges positions it is a critical component of China's broader strategic defense initiatives.